we are discussing now the types of modem we know that the modem is used for modulation and demodulation but how many types of modems are available in the market so first of all the modem which is started the first modem was the traditional modem as the name signify traditional traditional means which is started very ancient time so this was the modem which was started in the ancient time which is in the very starting that's why the name mentioned is the traditional modem and this modem was having the limitation that their upload speed and download speed was very less so talking about the upload speed the upload speed of this modem was 33.6 kbps and same download speed so download speed was also 33.6 kbps we guys are already aware about the upload and download upload means if we are going to put a file on the internet that is called the uploading let us suppose uploading a movie uploading a video on youtube so these are the uploading and the speed was 33.6 downloading means taking the file on your system just like you are downloading a youtube movie on your particular system or maybe you are using a torrent and downloading a movie so both speeds were 33.6 kbps in that specific modem now talking about this modem there are two terms which are used one is pcm and the another is the inverse pcm and these terms are the part of quantization so what is that quantization we are going to learn now so if i say the quantization well as per the definition if we are going with the quantization then that means the mapping of large set of input to small set let us suppose we are having very large set of data and we are dividing them into small small set that is called the quantization and where the quantization is used it is used into the pcm and the inverse pcm so first of all i must tell you what is the quantization let us suppose that we are having a signal and this one is the analog signal if we divide the analog signal into small small set you can see that i am putting the small small time frames if we are dividing that in such a manner so this is called the quantization and now by dividing that we can easily convert that to the digital because we are having the different different data points and by this data point we can generate the digital signal so quantization helps in converting analog to digital and digital to analog because we are dividing the large set to the small set that's why there are two categories under the quantization the first one is the pcm pcm stands for pulse code modulation and second one we are having is the inverse pcm that is the inverse of pulse code modulation so pcm and inverse pcm are both the part of quantization whenever we are converting the analog signal to digital this is called the pcm and whenever we are converting the digital to analog that is called the inverse pcm now we are having all the terminologies we know about the traditional modem that the upload speed and download speed both are 33.6 kbps and the quantization we know means large set is divided into small set and the features are pcm and inverse pcm means converting analog to digital is pcm and converting digital to analog is inverse pcm now talking about this diagram which is of traditional modem we will see how the quantization is limiting the speed let us suppose that this is uh, my system system a and there is your system also system b these both system work on the digital data that's why you can see that here the data mentioned is digital 
This is the same diagram which we have discussed at the time of discussing the modem and we are extended this diagram. So this is again the digital. My system and your system send and receive the digital signal. There is telephone company which is located in my area. So this is the telephone company. Let us suppose this is the telephone company of Delhi and this is the telephone company which is located in your area. Let us suppose the Noida. Now we know that these telephone companies are connected to each other through the network and this telephone network is purely digital. So that means these two exchanges, telephone exchanges are connected to each other and that one is purely digital. We know that the problem is there that from telephone exchange to our home, the line which is coming that is not digital. This is the analog line and this is the problematic factor. So the line coming from the exchange to my home that is analog and the name is local loop. Local loop means local exchange is providing you the line. Similarly, the line from your exchange to your home coming is analog. So that analog line is coming which is called the local loop and only because of this analog line the device applied is the modem. So the modem is applied at your home. This is the modem which is applied at your home and this is the modem which is applied at my home. So now the, all the elements of diagram are clear. Now we are going to learn how the data is transferred. Let us suppose that system A, which is my system, want to send the data to your system. Or I must say that it is the uploading from my end and the downloading from your end. So the data is coming in the digital form. Modulator is going to happen. We know that there are two functions. One is modulation, one is demodulation, which is the part of modem. But here this time the modulation is going to happen and the and digital signals are converted to the analog. Well, they are mentioning the modulation limits the rate from A to B. That means due to this modulation conversion from digital to analog, the speed slowly becomes down. Now, this is the telephone line through which the data is going to the exchange. Analog data is going to the exchange. Now, exchange is having two things. One is PCM and one is inverse PCM. We know that PCM for converting analog to digital and inverse PCM for digital to analog. So this time the analog is converted to digital using the PCM. So PCM is going to convert that analog signal to the digital. So here the signal converted to the digital and this whole process is called the quantization because quantization is, is having two parts PCM and inverse PCM and due to this quantization again the data rate become small. Again it is going to reduce. Now this digital data which is converted is going from my exchange to your exchange using the telephone network. So this is your exchange where the data, digital data is reached. At your exchange, again, the digital data is converted back to the analog. And this is called the inverse PCM because we know that inverse PCM means converting digital to analog. Again, this process is called quantization, which reduces the speed. So guys, you know one thing, the whole process which we have started from here, from starting from my system till the telephone company, this is called the uploading. Now, this uploading is having the speed 33.6 kbps. Why? Because there are two problems. One problem is of modulation by which we are converting digital to analog and speed become down and one is the quantization again converting analog to digital because of that speed again become down so uploading speed is less 
now from your exchange at your side to your system the data is coming that is called the downloading so viewers here from digital to analog conversion and your exchange is going to send that analog data at your home now at your home the modem is placed which can do the modulation and demodulation but this time it is doing the demodulation and converting the analog to digital and this digital data is reached to your system again this time we are having the problem one is the demodulation and one is the quantization so quantization is the major problem because we are converting randomly analog to digital and digital to analog multiple time that's why the traditional modem is having very less speed the upload speed was 33.6 kbps and similarly the downloading speed was also 33.6 kbps so both ways upload and download speed is less and that is because of the quantization so this is the first type of modem which is the traditional modem 